हेलो डियर व्यूअर्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम आई एम इंजीनियर मोहम्मद रिजाउल हक वेलकम टू माय ऑटोमेशन टूल्स यूट्यूब चैनल वी नो इन डीसीएस सिस्टम इफ वी वांट टू मेक एनी कंट्रोल मॉड्यूल सीक्वेंशियल कंट्रोल मॉड्यूल और यूनिट कंट्रोल मॉड्यूल और मेक ए लॉजिक इन डीसीएस सिस्टम विदाउट एसेट और पेरेंट एसेट वी कैन नॉट मेक एनी प्रोग्राम इन डीसीएस सिस्टम वी कैन नॉट Also download or active any control module, unit control module, sequential control module, or recipe control module in DCS system without parent asset or asset. Today, I will show how can we make or create a parent asset or asset in Hanuel DCS system. So, let's start. First, we open the VMR workstation. I am doing this job in the VMR system. So, first we open and resume the virtual machine. So, click on resume. You see, virtual machine you see resuming. Now, we go to the configuration studio because the all parent asset or any program have to be made in the configuration studio. It is in the DCS system two types of software are used for one software used for the logic configuration and another software is for used for HMI web builder that is used for the making HMI system. So, we go to the configuration studio. Here we have to create all things. You see, configuration studio is open. First, I want to say that here have the two options: X1 PK server and X1 PK system. If we want to make the, we, we create or make a parent asset or asset in the DCS system, we have to be connect in the system. In the system, all options are available, but in server all option not available. So, we select the system and press the connect. You must remember that you have to be connecting system software, not the server software. In you see, in the system software also server software is available. You see, here in the right system you see, here you system tax. You see, here the system tax. In system tax is different types of option is available is here. In the see the configuration asset for the system configuration asset that is our main job that we want to configure today another is the configure alarm group of the system rename the system administrative the tax database in the app system is the server tax is the add server load server configuration to server another many many option is available in the system uh, system option system server option here we want to the configure or the create a asset or parent asset. So, we go to the configuration asset for the system. Press this option. After pressing, you see this option is opening. You see, in the left side, you see the option is open with the enterprise model builder. You see, this is the asset option. To here, you see many, many asset or parent asset already configured. I will show how can we create a new asset. So, first we select asset and uh, go to the file. Here, you see new asset. Click on new asset. And then it shows the tag number. It is the asset identification tag number. So it is uh, paste the tag number as your desire or uh, as you wish. So as I am making it for testing purpose, so it name it test. I take the tag name is test. You can put the item name also same same is test. You can also give the description. Which uh, you can give this description or not is no not pos not problem. You can give uh, it is for the 
control module or to build up logic you can give any name no problem then press the ok button here you see in the left side in the asset tab you see that the test it is not active you see this is uh, this is our active but this is not active in the right side you uh, left side you see that the dotted three dot is showing that it is not loaded so first you select this and go to the load load inter module here you see where you want to store this but or load this it is server so press the okay you see it is showing that loading asset on selected server abroad it asset is being used by this one is lock you see it is showing the lock now i will show how can you unlock this and download again so press okay and go to the control uh, configuration studio here you go to the administrative administer the system database press here press the continue you see here is the db admin go to the db admin go to the server node this is our server virtual server go to and here is the MD, uh, emdb active logs you see here you see you see i make it bigger one you see you see here the asset root asset or all asset strategy all are lock so we clear this our, uh, our asset is show here the asset is key assets double s you, in the right, uh, left side corner you see that it is the lock sign so we go to the db admin with the right clicks you see the clear locks for user this one the clear locks on object this one we clear locks for the user this one press ok here you see no item so that means there is no lock is now available now we try this or the apparent asset is download or not you see again we select this one go to load inter model then marks check marks and press ok see loading server selected server abroad it but now it is not showing in that so the error in the validating tag name its tag name is showing problem but in a lock a lock is already is open then we tag name change this is the tag name make item you can see uh, test item i item then you try press ok this again select and go to admins and press ok error in validate validating tag name it is making some problem so i am trying to again to make a parent asset so go to asset select asset go to file go to new asset here you put the name is a test asset test also tag name inter is not allowed because it duplicate oh it already already exists so we can take another one it is a uh, uh, cm asset cm you also can put in a asset cm in identification you can also see it as a cm and press ok then now i active this one so go to the asset cm select at a cm and go to go to the load entire module load entire module and go to press ok you see in progress and load is completed you see our asset is active the which one is active this one this one we make this active now we can use this parent asset to make any program in our uh, in our control module i show it is uh, created or not you see you can often any unassigned control module you see this is the control module here we insert the parent asset you go to the, the here you can see the parent asset is here yes you see it is active that means we have successfully completed the uh, complete the creation of uh, a parent asset 
in this way you can easily get this one so dear friend i try to show how can you make a parent asset or asset for the control module system uh, in the next video i will show how can we create a control module logic to display the display of any uh, display of the process value so i tell you if you like my video please subscribe my channel and press the bell by bell icon so dear friend if you like my video please like comments and share please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon also like comments and share thanks for watching